G'day, Ziggy D here, and welcome back to episode two of my Avorian Survival Guide series. In the last episode, we built the Vegemite, and you guys probably built your very first starter iron ship as well. Well, I'm sorry to tell you guys, it's a hunk of junk. You most likely have this same symbol that I have here. Your ship is very weak compared to other ships in this region. If you want to survive combat, you should arm it better, add shields, or extend it. <laughs> So yeah, our ship's garbage. That's okay though. That's okay. In this episode, we're gonna be going through a few ways of earning a little bit of cash, and most importantly, locating and mining some titanium, and then going through the process of upgrading our ship. We're pretty much at the limits of what we can do with an iron ship like this. Unless we wanted to start doing things like adding iron solar panels, which are horribly inefficient, <laughs> to add tiny bits of uh, increased energy generation. Then, as you can see, a solar panel this size only adds 100 megawatts. We need titanium so we can make a titanium generator. We need titanium so we can get integrity fields to protect our ship from falling apart in combat. We need, we need titanium for pretty much everything. It's lighter, stronger, and has better things that we can build out of it. So that is going to be high priority, but also making some cash. So we armed with two mining lasers, iron mining lasers. And the way iron, uh, the way mining works in this game is that mining lasers can mine their tier below, anything below it, and one tier above. So if we press P here, we can actually see iron is the bottom tier. Iron mining lasers can mine titanium as well, up to titanium. They won't be able to mine neonite though, you would need a titanium laser to do that. A neonite laser would be able to mine tritium, neonite, titanium, and iron, and so on. So at the moment we start off with iron mining lasers, and they're not very good either. So, there's a few ways we can uh, look for titanium. We kind of went over this a little bit in the last episode when we were talking about mining iron. And one is to simply fly around and look for them. They will be white, so they'll look a bit like these guys, but instead of being kind of brown, coppery like the iron is here, or I guess iron coloured, I guess, <laughs> um, the titanium will be kind of white and glowing. So flying around and looking for those is one way to do it. You can also mouse over asteroids and look for anything that highlights with a brighter white box. As you can see, all of these guys are grey. So they're regular, and there'll be a few brown ones which are iron. Or we can press F9 and open this RTS menu and have a little bit of a zoom around with our camera looking for any, uh, any asteroids that have titanium in them, but also mousing over asteroids and looking for ones that highlight as white. And as I mentioned, the other thing that we have a goal to, uh, to do is to make a bit of uh, credits because we're gonna need credits to build our ship as well. When it comes to building things like a titanium generator, Credit, it's actually has a pretty high credit cost in addition to titanium. So if we go into the build menu, we can actually have a look here, there's a titanium generator. We can't build it yet, obviously, but a block of this size costs 5,400 credits. That's more than double what we have right now. So we're gonna need to try and get some credits at the same time. And we can do these things at the same time. So there's a few ways of making credits. Let's go ahead and turn off our chain gun and mine a little bit of iron here, right? We have more efficient lasers now, so we could set to work mining a bit of iron. We'll want a bit more iron to expand our ship further to add things like inertia dampeners and so on, but for the most part, we're gonna be upgrading a lot of things to titanium. So that means we can sell a lot of excess iron to resource depots for a bit of cash. It's not a very fast way to make cash, but it can make you enough to get yourself, you know, some starting equipment and maybe to pay for a few things that you wanna build out of titanium, like a titanium generator or so. So this is one way of, one way of getting cash. So mining these guys up, and taking this iron to the resource depot. You can locate the resource depots easily by looking around the edges of your screen or on your screen for an icon that looks like some stacked up bars. So if we look around here, up in my top right, we have some stacked up bars. And if we look over there, we can see the resource depot. You actually always start near the resource depot, so it's nice and easy to locate. And if we talk to these guys, we can actually go to trade materials and we can both buy materials as well as selling them. They only have iron in stock and they will pay 4.1 credits per single iron. So if we have a thousand iron we can sell, then we can get like 4,000 credits for that. So mining a couple iron asteroids will get you enough credits to build a couple things on your ship, to upgrade a couple of things. To make mining a bit easier as well, just make sure you select the asteroid. You'll notice if I don't have the asteroid select selected, my uh, lasers will sometimes do weird things and won't aim for the part I want like that. If you have it actually selected, they'll always aim pretty much where you tell them to on the asteroid. It makes things a lot easier. Other ways to make credits. Depending on your start location, you may have pirates, aliens, or other factions warping in. Now, 
Pirates and aliens will nearly always be hostile. The aliens are named the Zotan. And they are pretty much at war with everyone. They're basically like galaxy, galactic invaders. And your friendly ships in this sector, so you'll see there's like cargo transports and stuff around, but there's also like um, corvettes and things as well. These guys will engage with any pirates and aliens that warp in. Sometimes other factions will warp in, and if the faction has negative relations with the current faction that you're friendly with, and you can, as you can see, you can check your relations by selecting a ship. You can see the ship, the faction that you start in, the start sector and the faction that occupies it, will admire you. You're basically best friends with these guys and you can see your faction standings here in Diplomacy. So you can see the pirates hate us, <laughs> but these guys who are near here, uh, the, sick, the sickly, um, they admire us. So these guys, however, might be at war with the Commonwealth of Kaitol, Kaitol, uh, Kaitol <laughs> The names are mostly impossible to pronounce. These guys may be at war. So if some of them warped in, your friendly ships might start fighting them. In fact, with perfect timing, we have some pirates warping in. So this is the next way to make credits. You can A, help your friends fight the pirates. So if you shoot them and deal some damage and help blow them up, then when they're all dead, you will get a bounty. So they will, like your friendly faction will pay you for helping them fend off the pirates. In addition to that, any ships that die or get damaged in this game can drop components. And if you have a salvage laser, you can actually salvage materials such as iron and titanium from the ship's hulls themselves. Now, at the moment, remember this thing? We are very weak. So getting into a fight with pirates ourselves is exceedingly dangerous. We will get destroyed very quickly. So what we want to do is play Battlefield Scavenger, <laughs> basically. So we're gonna look, we're just gonna kind of hang out. We're gonna hang out, try and not to attract too much attention to ourselves. And then once the ships are starting to get low, we're going to try and navigate to a, uh, an area where we're a bit safer. And then we're just going to take some pot shots at them. We're just going to help a little bit. We're just going to do the cursory amount of minimal help required in order to earn a little bit of respect from our friends. We'll improve our relations with them and we'll earn some credits. So we're going to wait until this guy gets a little lower. We're going to be in range. So our range is 4.47 on this thing. So we're in range currently. And then we're going to, once they're getting low, we're going to carefully take some shots and do a little bit of damage to them here. So we can click and hold and do a little bit of damage. If they start firing, we want to get out of there. Be careful not to shoot your friends because you will damage your relationship with them. Friendly fire is a thing in this game. So he's moving behind there. We can probably fly over this way a little bit and try and help finish him off. There we go. I accidentally shot my friend once, but that's okay. So that's one down. As you can see, there's actually one of our friendly ships died and there's a few shining floating things there. They are what we want to pick up. There's actually a green one over there as well. So we're actually going to scoot over here. This was like perfectly timed as well. I swear I didn't like plan this, <laughs> but it's perfect. I'm going to fly over and get that. We just got a trading component, which is fantastic. That is very helpful. It's actually good enough at a green rarity. So that is a uncommon trading component. It's actually good enough that we could even engage in trading almost straight away as another way of making cash. We'll cover that in a later episode though. So we're just going to help these guys very carefully, trying not to attack, attract any attention to ourselves, trying to make sure that the pirates are mostly fighting our friends. So this guy's the last of this pirate fleet here. We're going to carefully go get this chip here as well. And we're going to go get this one as well. So these guys dropped a few system components. Now, if there's wreckage like this, you can actually attack it. And occasionally it will drop some extra things like turrets or other system components. If we have a salvage laser, we can also salvage things like this is a generator right here. If we salvaged this, we'd probably get a bunch of titanium. Unfortunately, we don't have any salvage lasers at the moment, so we, we probably want to leave this for now. Though you can just destroy them with your regular weaponry. What we want to do, though, is get in here and help them with this pirate, but just carefully. I actually picked up 20 titanium that came off one of those ships, so that's a bit of a start. So we're going to mostly be making sure here while we're in our crappy first iron ship that we're just hanging around at the X outside of our range for the most part and just taking some pot shots and making sure they're mostly occupied with our friends. You notice I didn't engage earlier? It's because he was only fighting one kind of neutral other faction. If we'd got in there and he'd killed the other guy or decided to turn around and start shooting at us, he would his chain guns would actually shred our hull very quickly. This guy has way more firepower than us and uh, we just cannot, we cannot handle taking much damage. Not to mention, even if you don't die, taking a bunch of damage will cost you credits and materials, iron and so forth, to actually repair your ship. As you can see, we're, our combat capabilities are very bad at the moment. <laughs> if you want to do this a bit more, you could actually strap a second chain gun on, take off one of your mining lasers, and put out a little bit more damage. But we just need a little bit of damage, just enough, 
And as you see, 3,000 reputation, we were rewarded an actual item. They actually gave us an item as a reward and 15,000 credits. Enough to build three of those generators we wanted to build. So that's perfect. We could shoot the rest of this wreckage here and see if he's got any other components. Just do it, just blow up a few of these bits. We could even use out mining lasers at close range. This is only iron here. When you select a bit of wreckage, it'll tell you what's in it. So there's 80 iron in here, so it's not a big deal if we destroy this. And we can just see if any other components pop out. It doesn't... Ooh, actually, we did get lucky, and there you go. Perfect. Man, this game is cooperating very well for this guide. <laughs> and we actually got a double bolter turret, which is a potentially a bit of an upgrade for one of our chain guns as well. So we could take a look at this. Bolters are actually a different type of weapon, which is exciting. So we've got a double bolt turret. So these guys typically do a lot of damage, bonus damage to hulls. So unshielded enemies will take a lot of damage from them, but they usually have a cooldown. So this one does overheat as well. It does 8.1 damage and fires at a rate of 2.5. So we're looking at like 20 something damage there. Compared to our current chain guns, which are about 24, it's probably about the same damage, but it does have a bonus to hulls. So we could actually use this if we wanted to. We could go into build mode and we could remove our chain gun turret or one of our mining lasers. And then, we can, and then we can add this bolter turret. So that's a pretty nice find. That's a pretty nice find, I'm happy with that. But more excitingly though, is we actually found some ship components, some ship systems. So if we go to the systems menu here, you'll notice that we found a trading system. We could start trading to make money. This is pretty handy as it displays information about trades in the sector. We could start trading ore right now even and start earning some credits from that. Potentially, we could buy some we could buy some cheap ore and sell it to somewhere else that needs that wants to buy ore. Maybe in another sector, perhaps. We got an engine upgrade, which can increase our speed. A velocity security control bypass, <laughs> which uncaps your speed and is a bit dangerous. And a little, little not very good radar upgrade. Now, for the most part, you want to keep most of these guys. But things like velocity security control bypasses that you're not likely to use, um, these are fine to be sold. So you could sell these. You want to sell components like this to an equipment dock. This guy will buy them. So if we go to sell... We can actually see what our things would be worth. So the Velocity Security Control Bypass, actually worth 3,700 credits. That engine upgrade, 11,000 credits. Not bad. So we could actually sell some of these. It's not a bad idea to keep systems. You can sell guns that you don't think you're going to use, though you you are probably going to get a turret control system at some point and you'll be able to put more guns on your ship. So having a few spare guns is not a bad idea. But some of these ones that you're not going to use, you can sell. And the reasons why you might want to keep some of these is because you'll eventually find research stations where you can upgrade them to make them more powerful. So you can combine them together, research them and upgrade them. So we could sell some of those. We don't really need to at the moment. So we've already got two ways of making money. Selling iron to the resource depot or scavenging battlefields for money drops, getting rewards from fighting bandits, scavenging other ships for components and then selling those components or selling any spare weapons that we don't need. So already a few things going already. There's a bit of titanium in this guy, but I'm actually going to blow this guy up just to see if we get any other components. Because we don't have a salvage laser at the moment anyway. And we'll probably forget where this wreckage is. <laughs> There'll be plenty more wreckage for us to harvest. Don't worry about that. I'll, I'll, oh, there we go. There we go. Already. Not too bad. Okay, let's go pick that up. What did we get here? We've got another velocity security control bypass. Those are quite sellable. I don't think I've ever really found myself using the velocity control bypasses. If you want to go a billion meters per second and crash into an asteroid, be my guest. <laughs> this guy actually has, this this wreckage here actually has some cargo on him. So what we could do now, and this is another way, is if you happen to fight, uh, want to engage in piracy, then getting cargo is a way to do it. Or if some friendlies died, then you could well um, take their cargo. We could strap a little cargo bay on the bottom here and see what this is. So we'll be able to pick this up by going near it, and it looks like it's steel. So steel is not worth a lot, it's worth 159 credits per. If we got a bunch from this ship, we could try and find somewhere to sell it. There's actually a fair bit of steel here from the looks of things. We could strap, strap enough cargo bays on until we have enough steel to sell, and then we could chuck in that trading chip we just found and see if anywhere nearby wants to buy them. If you don't have a trading chip, you could just check a few places around that might want to buy them, so try and think, what do we have in our sector? We don't really have much in our sector that might want to buy that sort of stuff. We could check like the equipment dock, um, sell goods. Do they do they buy any steel? They want a bunch of things, but it doesn't look like they want any steel, so we could we could take some steel, but it's not worth a lot. But we could grab it and then sell it at some point once we do find somewhere to sell it. All we need to do is strap some cargo bays on. So we can we can chuck a, cup, a couple cargo bays here. Let's go ahead and add 
Just a cargo bay to the back of our ship here. Just big enough to hold a bit of cargo. There we go. I'll go ahead and delete this one. We can add more if we need to. Okay, it looks like we ended up with 28 steel, which is, that's a couple thousand credits. So what we can do is chuck in our little trading chip just for a second and see if there's anyone that wants to buy steel. So we can actually click on new here and we see that the repair dock and the shipyard both want steel, but they're not paying very good rates for it. Nonetheless, it's just cargo that we can go sell. So we can use this little eye here to locate the repair dock that wants to buy it for minus 3% under, under market. We'll get into the trading a bit more in a later episode dedicated to trading most likely. But uh, it looks like we could go offload this steel we have here and then we can take off the cargo container so we don't have to carry it around. Carrying a big bulky cargo container is slowing down our ship and making it less maneuverable so getting rid of this as quickly as possible is going to be helpful since we're probably most, most likely going to be focusing more on combat anyway. There we go. Let's go ahead and st sell our steel. Sell 28 of it. And there's another 4,000 credits and a little bit more reputation with the faction. Now we can go ahead and delete this cargo bay since we're not carrying any cargo anymore. Not bad, a little bit of extra money. So we're sitting at 21,000 and 1,500 iron. We could go sell that iron, but we're not hurting too much for credits, so I think we're okay for now. So, fighting pirates, scavenging, blowing up some wreckages, getting some components to sell. We could go sell our velocity control systems. Taking a trip to the equipment dock is not a bad idea because purchasing some salvaging lasers is a very good idea to do as early as possible. However, I actually see another money-making opportunity just to the left of my screen right here. I actually noticed a much larger than usual asteroid. And these are actual, actually claimable and sellable asteroids. You'll notice whenever you see a mine, they'll be strapped to an asteroid like this. And this is basically a mineable asteroid. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly close to this and then we're going to claim it for ourselves. Apparently, our, fa our friendly faction hasn't noticed this yet. You won't often find these in your starting location, so this is pretty lucky. But you will find these when you're exploring from time to time. Whenever you get into an asteroid belt, have a little bit of a look around. You can have a look around using this F9 screen. Makes it a lot easier to see these sorts of things. Mouse over and look for any bigger than regular asteroids like this one. And that can be a very, very good way to make money. They're also a great way to boost relations with a faction as well selling an asteroid to a faction expands their territory and they love that so pretty happy stuff pretty lucky that we found one in this sector but if we were jumping around other sectors and eventually um hidden sectors that have asteroid fields that people don't know about yet then uh you can sell asteroids like this in order to do that we need to move within 200 meters of it so we're going to go below it for safety and then we can press f and claim it then we can press f once again Later on, you'll be able to found your own mines. Pretty crazy. Cost 5 million credits <laughs> for the cheapest one. We're not ready for that yet. So we're going to go ahead and sell the asteroid. You'll have an option of different factions. We could sell it to another uh, another faction. Uh, we could sell it to our friendly faction that we're here now. We have a few options. So our faction that we're near, here, near now is the Sickly. These guys will most likely pay us the most because they like us the most, but we'll also get less reputation bonus with them because they already like us a lot anyway. However, there's an another nearby faction we could take less money and boost our reputation with them a lot more. If we wanted to make friends with another faction nearby for more trading opportunities, trading becomes more lucrative as a faction likes you more, then uh, we could go for that. At the moment though, we want as much cash as possible, so I'm going to sell it to my friendly faction here, the Sickly. And there we go, a boost in relations, and we now have 100,000 credits. Not bad for a couple of minutes. <laughs> so we're already, already well on our way to getting our ship upgraded. We have 100,000 credits, and we have a few other things to sell at the equipment dock, which is where we're going to head now. And uh, we'll also be able to get ourselves some extra weaponry, potentially extra system components if we need them. And uh, then our quest will be to find some titanium. In terms of pirate attacks and Zotan alien attacks, You'll get notifications down in the bottom right about like uh, radar signals and things like that. But then you'll also get notifications when actual pirates are attacking your sector. You'll also get distress signals. We have one over here, which will appear as a mission in your mission log over here as well. See distress signal and then you can show the location. And these could be someone who's being attacked by pirates. You could jump over there and save them, get a bonus as well as... Uh, potentially make some new friends. Um, that's going to be a little bit beyond our ship's capabilities at the moment because if we were to fight some pirates basically by ourselves, we'd probably get killed. Um, but uh, they could also be pirates setting up false distress signals in order to lure in potential victims. As you can see down the bottom right there, we got more strange subspace signals that are getting stronger. That's most likely an incoming Zotan attack. So at some point, uh, it could be in 5, 10, 15 minutes, um, some Zotan could attack this sector. The longer you spend in a sector doing various things, the more likely you are to see 
um, things like pirate attacks, Zotan attack, attacks, and other factions. Uh, potentially things like salesmen coming in, which you could trade with, or uh, actual other factions attacking. So we can go ahead and sell these velocity security control bypasses. We're not going to need those. These other ones, though, I'll keep. These could be useful. The engine upgrades, I don't tend to use too often, but uh, we can keep that anyway. And I'll keep my gu extra guns for now. We can see what's available. There's a battery upgrade, which is half a million. <laughs> An advanced trading system. There's a few tur cheap turret control systems, though, which is a pretty good early pickup. We could get another unarmed turret to add like another mining laser or a salvage laser, or we could get an armed turret as well. We aren't going to be able to have enough power to run this for now, so there's not too much point in us getting this. We actually see a small group of alien ships appeared, so this is a great time to talk about the Zotan. When these guys first warp into a sector, they won't immediately be hostile with you. Unless you fire a weapon of some description, including mining or salvage lasers, once you do that they recognize you as a threat and they will attack you. At the moment, What's most likely going to happen is they're going to engage with some of my friendly ships. So that gives us another opportunity to get in and do some battlefield scavenging. We can help our friends fend off the Zotan attack, or we can just hang around and pick up some of the bits that drop off. <laughs> we can just hang around and be a bit of a battlefield vulture, which is quite fun in the early game, especially when there's like a big faction battle going on and you're like ducking in and out trying to pick up components because uh, you want to try and get them before someone else picks them up and so on. So uh, it can be a lot of fun. At the moment though, we'll turn off our weapons and try not to draw their attention and wait and see if they end up engaging with someone else. While we're waiting, we can scope out this place and see if we can't find some salvage lasers because as we know there's a battle coming, we can pick up some salvage lasers and use those to potentially get some titanium as well. So buy and sell turrets, we can see if there's any salvage lasers in here. It looks like there's one iron salvaging turret, it's 21,000. Um, it is a uncommon, so it's a little better. Um, depending on the stats though, the game has randomized stats. This one has 0.75 range. It has bonus damage to hull, which is actually pretty good for a salvage laser. You can even use them as weapons because they do quite a bit of actual damage to unshielded enemies. So this is actually not a bad pickup. It's a little expensive, but we just got a lot of cash from buying an astro uh, selling an asteroid even. So I'm actually pretty on board with that. In fact, we could even buy two of them. They have two, which I think I'll do. So now what we could do is while we're waiting for a bit of a fight to start, we could de-equip our mining lasers. This, did, this episode didn't go as expected, by the way. I thought I'd be just farming some titanium and maybe we'd fend off some pirate attacks. It's been a lot more action-packed than that, and we've actually progressed a lot faster than I expected. So, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's going to be the nature of making guides for Avorian, because the game is so unexpected in terms of what happens. But there's a bit of a battle going on now. These guys are kind of close. They're not currently enemy with us, though, so I'm not too worried. There goes one. We could wait until two are down and then finish off the other one. That one's really far away though. So what we might do is turn our weapons on. I'll leave my salvage lasers off for now. And we'll help now. We might have been able to wait a until a little bit longer. But... Uh, looks like our weapon's a little inaccurate. And there we go. We helped them with the kill. Once we help them kill that last one, or uh, once that last one dies, we might also get a faction reward as well. A bounty for helping defend the Zotan. So now that we've done that... We actually have salvage lasers now, and here's a piece of wreckage. This only has iron in it, but we can salvage it anyway and maybe get some extra components. When salvaging, you want to go for things that you would normally spend a lot of extra resources on. Things like gyros, and thrusters, and engines, and especially things like generators. Anything that glows or is shiny, or looks a little more interesting, will usually give you with a, bit, a bit more actual resources. So we're just getting a little bit of iron here, not particularly good salvage. We can just scan wreckages and see what they are. So this just has iron. So if it just has iron, it's not particularly high value to us. So we can basically just blow it up with our actual weapons and our salvage lasers just to see if any components drop out. Looks like we've got some more pirate attacks. Quite glad that our starting sector is a little, uh, little action-packed here. Helps a lot when salvaging to actually select the salvage with the middle mouse button as well. So it looks like there's one more Zotan over there that's being engaged currently. But then there's actually a few pirates over here too. And they just blew up one of our friends. <laughs> so, taking on these three right now, although we've gotten some upgrades, we haven't actually really had a chance to upgrade our ship much yet. So, we uh, we might want to uh, just wait until they engage with someone else. We could scoot over here and help kill this Zotan ship, which seems really weak. In fact, I think this is just kind of a little support ship that warped in with the Zotan. We're actually taking fire from those pirates, so we got a little close there, so we're just going to get out of here. <laughs> I took like one bullet and we lost like a bar and a half of health, so a little bit of a concern. 
We'll help blow up this Zotan so this guy can start dealing with the pirates and then maybe we can help him deal with the pirates. Moving close, be careful of uh, our friend shooting us. <laughs> and then we use our salvage lasers on him. You can use salvage lasers on li living targets, actually does a fair bit of hull damage. And we got a green component for our troubles as well, which is really good. We'll take that. It's actually a green weapon. It looks like a mining laser. Let's take a look. Looks like we got an iron, uh, double iron salvaging turret. We got a third iron salvaging turret. It's 18.6 efficiency and 26 damage. I think our current ones are better. It's slightly more efficient. Uh, about the same damage, actually. Pretty similar to our current ones. So, but it could be good if we add, add another turret control chip at some point. Let's just salvage this guy while he engages with the pirates. <laughs> See if we get anything else. There's another component. Good stuff. A shield component, which is very useless at the moment. But will be useful later on when we want to do some researching. We don't have shields yet, so a shield component is not going to do much for us. <laughs> Looks like they're actually attacking the equipment dock there. How's our friend going? Um, we're actually getting shot at a little bit here, so I'm going to try and defend myself a little bit. We're losing reputation with the pirates. I think you actually can make friends with the pirates if you like. If pirates warp in and you start attacking the other faction. The pirates can grow to like you. Problem with bolters is this cooldown. I'm currently on cooldown, so <laughs> bit of a concern. Just gonna try and move around a bit because we're taking fire. Maybe if I can move behind our friend here, he might uh, get in the way for us. Because <laughs> I don't want to be taking this damage right now. His guns are doing a lot of damage to me. Okay, looks like he's engaged with the other guy now. All right, this pirate's actually a little nasty. There was a component, a system over there. It looks like. I keep saying components, but I mean system. And there's actually a green one there too, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get that without getting exploded. <laughs> it's right in between the two of them. So, a little bit of a worry. I'll take some pot shots here once I have a clear shot. Let's see if we can't help just a little bit. <laughs> but it's not looking good. It's a bit of an even fight. Okay, I'm going to go fast here. He's actually firing on us. I'm going to try and pick up this weapon. We might get that. Yep. And then I'm going to change directions. Just to try and avoid this fire. Alright, we're going to play full ba Battlefield Scavenger mode here and try and grab this system component. I don't know if I got close enough there. Oh, looks like we're going to get it. Oh yeah, it's actually a hyperspace drive upgrade, which is very nice. Alright. We need to move. He's firing at us. Time to move. So I'm just trying to move a little bit erratically, changing directions a bit. So that we can avoid that fire. And also trying not to crash into asteroids as well. <laughs> Changing directions. Away from the asteroid cluster. When we're moving it gets a little harder to lead the target with uh, things like a bolter. Then we can maybe sneak a couple shots in there. Chain gun might be a little better at this point. Looks like we're slightly out of range too. I do want to help my friend win this fight though. Or at least my friend to die and then this pirate to be very weak. <laughs> That would be good as well. Alright, we're pretty far away, so he's mostly missing us, but... It's a bit of a concern, because <laughs> Bolter's currently on cooldown. There is another ship over there. I could see if this is potential uh, salvage later as well. But... I think what we'll do is change over to our chain gun, because this bolt is not working so well for us. So change over to one of our chain guns. We actually found another one. It's not very good, though. Use one of our starting chain guns. Rebind that. And then we'll see if we can't help a little bit. Help finish this guy off. Hopefully the other pirates, there was two other pirates a bit further away doing battle somewhere else. Hopefully the other pirates have been taken out and we'll get a bounty if we kill this guy if we're lucky. Chain gun not having a cooldown is good and I can just kind of spray and hope. There we go and looks like we got a 15,000 bounty, not bad. Our friend was doing okay. Alright, we can see if there's anything here. There's actually some titanium in this, which is very nice for us. So we're going to try and salvage some of that. I think some will be located inside of this. So sometimes you'll see boxes like this. And if we blow up the outer plate, there's a generator. There we go. 80... looks like we got 80 titanium from that. Is this actually titanium itself? That is actually titanium. We're mostly looking for, like, how much titanium is in the wreckage. So if we scan this now, there's only 5 titanium there, which is barely worth... like... Barely worth going for if it was a bigger wreckage that would take a while. You could basically just skip that. Alright, so there's not much there for us. We have done very nicely. We've done very nicely. Looks like all hostiles in the sector seem to be gone. You can press R to check for hostiles. And G will also rotate between friendlies as well. 
just as a, a bit of a tip for targeting. So, doing pretty nicely. We've taken some damage though, so we're going to have to repair that. <laughs> Took a bit more hits there than I would have liked. 400 credits and 200 irons, not too bad at this point though. Nice and easy repairs. So, we have 128 titanium. We've done the we've done the initial starting cash making quite effectively and quite quickly. Pretty happy with that. Um, that, was, that was about half an hour and uh, put us at, uh, well, we got 140k credits and spent 40k of it or something like that, 120 and spent 40. So not too bad at all. So now we just want to try and locate some titanium. So same way as before, you can have a look around using uh, this screen here, look for any titanium asteroids. You can get pretty close to some of these as well. Not these ones here though. These ones here we'll have to mouse scan because they're a little further away. Just kind of seeing if there's any titanium in the area. There might not be much titanium in your starting area, if any. So if there's not, then we're probably going to want to warp to another sector. Which is not too bad, because I can show you guys that part process. So, we're going to open the map and look for any green blips. There's no green blips within two jumps of us, within two sectors. And that's because that's that's as far as we can jump. We did actually get a jump upgrade, though. I'll take this out for a second. Which gives us plus three hyperspace jump range and, hype, and less hyperspace cooldown. Very nice, but also uh, very high power costs. <laughs> and it's going to run down our battery almost instantly. So we could use it for a jump and then just take it out. But uh, for now, we're not going to use that. Instead, you'll see these lines here. That actually represents a gate that'll take us to another scepter. So this is basically like cardinal directions. The map itself, grid, is, uh, is basically a north-south-east-west 2D plane. So we're looking for a west gate to go this way. So gates are a square icon. So you can see one over here. And if that's the west gate, that's the northeast gate. We can try and find the west gate. Where is the icons down there? That's pretty close to us as well. So that's the west gate. And that'll take us westwards on, on this map here. Even though space is 3D. You know, this is 2D. <laughs> uh, this actually looks like a cargo vessel that was destroyed, maybe by pirates. Your friendlies don't care if you uh, salvage their wreckages. <laughs> I guess they see you're doing a space cleanup duty anyway. This is only iron, so we might not really get too much out of this, but there could be some cargo and there could be some uh, systems as well. Or maybe some turrets, so worth just chopping it up a bit, shake the wreckage a bit and see what falls out. Looks like we got something. Uh, looks like a battery upgrade. Most systems will take extra power you can see the energy consumption of a radar upgrade is 150 megawatts we cannot afford that right now until we get some titanium but some of them are basically upgrade your power either generation or batteries so this one's a freebie so we might as well just chuck that in it gives us 20 percent recharge rate on our battery so that's not gonna hurt at all all right let's head through the west gate and see if we can't locate some titanium in another sector on warping into the next, uh, your first warp jump, will usually you'll encounter this adventurer. That's an aspect of the story, so you can have a little chat to this guy and he'll explain a bit about the universe. Alright, so it looks like the sector we, we uh, took the gate to here has a decent amount of asteroids, 700 asteroids. It's also got a lot of, uh, of actual, um, like, buildings here? <laughs> stations. <laughs> it's actually got a lot of stations in it as well, which is good. So you can always check this list of, to see what's here. Repair docks, shipyards, and things like that. Looks like trading opportunities in our starting sectors actually could be pretty good. But uh, more importantly, we're going to be looking for some titanium. There's a big juicy iron ore asteroid there. We were trying to mine for money, but we're going to avoid mining for the most part, since we don't really need to do too much of that. Um, so I'm going to avoid that, and we're just going to look for some titanium. See if we can eyeball any to begin with. We had to spend a few credits to take the jump gates, but if it's with a friendly faction, it'll cost almost nothing. Alright, I can't see much there, so we'll use the... Uh, this like RTS screen here to see if we can spot any titanium. Is there any titanium floating around? Alternatively to mining, we could just hang out in our starting sector and any pirates or Zotan that warp in, we can carefully engage with them and use our salvage lasers that we purchased to salvage any titanium on them. So we could keep doing that, but it's a bit slow going right at the start. So getting the initial titanium you need to make a couple key upgrades is going to be a lot faster if you can locate a couple asteroids. So unfortunately it looks like no real luck here, I'm not seeing any titanium. This is not a major asteroid field, so what we're probably going to do is just take this next gate here. That'll be the west-southwest gate with a credit fee of 62 credits, that's pretty cheap, we can handle that. The best mining fields are actually hidden around the map, and you can locate them using a radar upgrade like this one here, that provides yellow mass sectors. We actually have found one as well. 
So what you can do is you can jump around green sectors and you will find some asteroid fields. Sometimes you'll even find some decent ones. Like these ones here, especially that are off of the regular gateway, could be nice asteroid fields. So we could jump to those. However, if you find a radar upgrade like this that shallows that shows sectors with mass as yellow blips, that's the key one there. Then you can actually use this to try and find some asteroid fields, as well as pirate bases and all sorts of good things. So this is only a very, very low tier one, so it's only going to show us in a really small location. We could stack these though, see if we can find any other ones in the area. Looks like we're not going to find any other er ones in the area. So instead I'll calculate a jump to one of these other green sectors that has energy signatures. We'll take these out for now, but we could pop those back in once we jump. So we calculated that jump now. And then we're just going to press, we're going to move towards the blue box here. I'm going to look at it and press spacebar to jump. So once we've done that, we could actually pop those chips back in and see if there's any other asteroid fields in the area. So if we pop these guys back in, we'll see if, see if there's any yellow mass in the area. Looks like there actually is. So this sector here could have something good in it. It could have a pirate base, like a hidden smuggler base. It could have an asteroid field. It could have wreckages. It could have a wrecked um, space station, like all sorts of good things. Could have claimable asteroids, lots of good stuff. We did, looks like we found a bit of an asteroid sector that we're in now. A thousand asteroids, so this could actually be decent as well. Looks like that's an iron asteroid. If you uh, find a titanium giant asteroid like this, this looks like the sellable ones, but if they contain ore, they're just for players to mine. So we can't actually sell those ones. It's a little weird, but you, uh, <laughs> you build mining stations on asteroids that don't have ore in them, and you mine asteroids that do have ore in them. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Doesn't have to make sense. Alright, so we know where, you're, where a yellow sector is. We can queue up a jump there if we want to check it out later. And we can actually take these out now. We know where it is, so we don't need to locate it again. And what we can do in the meantime is check around in these uh, asteroid fields here and see if we can find anything good, any good titanium or any wreckages or any hidden, hidden like, uh, stashes of loot, for example. As you can see, we're having some real power problems at the moment. Our hyperspace drive consumes a lot of power and we don't have a generator yet, so we do need to locate some titanium ASAP. We're not, ASAP, we're not going to be able to jump for almost two minutes because that's how long it's going to take us to uh, recharge our hyperspace drive. So I'll, see if, I'll have a look around and see if I can't find any titanium. While I was looking for titanium, we got a ship in your sector is calling for help. That means someone's being attacked by pirates. If you have a bit of firepower, you could go help them and destroy the pirates. However, if the pirates destroy uh, the guy that called for help, they'll usually warp out. So we're not going to be able to help against five pirates right now. <laughs> we will get destroyed. So we're unfortunately just going to have to watch our friend die. But on the bright side, we get to salvage his carcass. So that's cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll call that I'll call that a win still, nonetheless. Let's head over to that salvage. See if we can find any titanium asteroids once we're over there. Alright, here we go. It looks like he dropped a system. It's funny that the pirates killed him and then don't take any of their loot. <laughs> but it uh, looks like he also had some cargo as well. Now, this cargo is likely going to be flagged as stolen goods. So we wouldn't pick that up by default unless we unless we changed this option here under the cargo menu. The problem with carrying stolen goods is you'll be scanned occasionally by basically like police of the sector. And if they detect stolen goods on your vessel, then uh, you'll get fined and they'll take the they'll try to they'll attempt to take the goods off of you. You need to actually take those to a smuggler station, so like a little pirate sector or a smuggler sector, uh, in order to um, sell those stolen goods or remove the basically stolen tag from them. It's a little weird, but currently in the way the game works right now, you can you can get um, non-stolen non branded goods off of wreckages, like these guys that are popping out here we could actually get. So I don't know if they'll eventually change that, but right now you can kind of... You can kind of play the system a little bit by... Um, only picking up the non-stolen ones and uh, basically like pirating cargo vessels and then uh, only only taking the non-stolen goods off of their carcass instead. We found some paint. We could strap on a quick cargo bay and just see what this is. Looks like it's cattle. I don't know how much cattle is worth. It's not worth a lot and it takes up a lot of volume so I think I'm just gonna not worry about it. We got a system so I'm happy with that. And the system we got was actually a turret control system as well, which is a fantastic find. So we're going to try and see if we can use that. Unfortunately though, I think we're going to have power issues. I think it's going to run down our battery. 
we are consuming more power than we're generating at the moment, so we're not really going to be able to use that. We could strap some solar panels on, but we're just going to keep looking for some titanium so we can make a generator instead. Alright, I couldn't really locate any titanium in this sector, so we're going to jump to another one. Going to jump to that yellow mass sector and see if it's an asteroid field. It's certainly an asteroid field, guys. It's certainly an asteroid field. Alright, that is good news. This is a massive asteroid field. Not to mention, immediately on jumping in, spotting a sellable asteroid here as well. We don't... I do see some titanium over there as well. Alright, let's go sell this asteroid. Looks like we've found the, uh, the place we were looking for. 2,400 asteroids. We're going to be able to get all the titanium we need. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to claim this asteroid and we're going to go ahead and sell it. And we're going to sell it to the Sickly for 9,000 credits. Not bad. Now, you'll notice I also got a mission up there, and that's because I've uncovered a story mission. Occasionally you'll locate beacons, and that's part of one of the story missions. So we can see... we should be able to see a flashing somewhere on our screen down there. And if we can see it, we should be able to select the beacon and interact with it, and it'll give us a message. There we go. Sometimes there'll be wreckages in areas that have beacons as well, and sometimes there'll be a beacon uh, next to a wreckage, and sometimes they'll also have little loot boxes you can open as well. You don't have to pay real money for them though in this game. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're not going to get too distracted though, we're going to go for some of this titanium, because that is what we want. There's actually two titanium asteroids here, which is fantastic. Before we grab that, we are going to have to change our salvage lasers, it's very bright, for some uh, <laughs> mining lasers. So let's see, did we get any new mining turrets? Doesn't look like it. We've got a couple of weapons, though. Nothing super amazing. Alright, we're going to whack these mining lasers on. Go ahead and hotkey those up. And let's go mine some titanium. Yeah! There we go, that's what we're after. This is a 4,500 titanium asteroid here. We'll get at least a few hundred out of this one. Maybe like 500 or so, which will be enough to give us a generator. So, that is very, very good news. We're going to want to grab as much titanium as we can here, and then we're going to want to jump back to a friendly sector so we can make upgrades on our ship. We could make some upgrades while we're out in the field, but once we start doing some upgrades, we're most likely going to need some more crew for our ship. So uh, it's not a bad idea to head back to a friendly sector anyway. Plus, we don't really want to be, with how weak our ship is currently, we don't really want to be in a sector without much support. Because if some pirates warp in, then uh, we would have to try and jump away very quickly, because we wouldn't be able to face them by ourselves currently. Oof, looks like I almost got 900 titanium out of that asteroid. Really good. Uh, sh there was one more around here somewhere. I know it. Here we go. How good are some of the backgrounds in this game, though? This game can be surprisingly beautiful. You don't expect that when you play sit, sit down and play a voxel game, but some of the like backgrounds and uh, ships and things in this game can be really, really striking. Alright, there's 1400 titanium, and I see at least one more asteroid here, so I'm going to grab this and then we'll head back. This has been a an exceptionally fun episode as well. I'm really happy with uh, how much uh, action we've gotten and how much uh, I've been able to show off. We've had pirate battles, we've had Zotan battles, we've been able to salvage, we've been able to uh, sell some uh, claimable asteroids. And we located some titanium. I was just planning on basically being like, here's, here's how you locate and mine titanium. Here's how you make a little bit of credits, and I figured it was at worst going to be just selling some iron. <laughs> and then uh, and then doing some ship upgrades, but uh, basically this episode will probably end up being uh, how to make your starting cash and get the titanium you need for upgrades. Something like that, I'll come up with something more, more clever. <laughs> there we go, 2,500 titanium, very nice, and I have no doubt that we could find more in here as well. Um, but that is going to be enough for us to make our initial upgrades to this ship, so pretty damn happy with that. I'll make my way towards back towards the friendly sectors, and then I think in the next episode we will be doing some upgrades on our ship, and uh, then we can go from there. It should be fun. Anyway guys, I hope you found this episode interesting and informative. We uh, had a pretty good episode in terms of uh, really starting to show some of the meat of Avorian, so pretty happy with that. Anyway guys, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.